Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, the Director of Nature Reliance School, coming to you today for Tactical Tuesday. Uh, what we're going to be taking a look at in this video is some chest rigs, plate carriers, and a number of other things. So I keep wanting to make it clear uh, on these Tactical Tuesdays that I'm no tactical guy or tactical guru or anything of that nature. I'm actually quite the beginner and I guess that's what I'm trying to share is that uh, I own some weapons for self-defense and I wanted to make sure that I know how to utilize them properly and safely and manage them, uh, keep them safe in my home and any number of things. So I have done what I can do to continue to educate myself on all those facets. I've taken armor classes, I've taken tactical classes, and um, so that's what I'm trying to share on these Tactical Tuesdays is some of the things that I've learned from taking these classes. So with that said, I've taken a few classes where I run a, uh, a self-defense rifle, and in that regard I've bought about four or five different chest rigs and stuff of that nature, and some of them have proved to be very valuable to me, and others I wouldn't wish upon my enemy. So I'm gonna go through those, talk about some of the places you can get these things. And, and again, I'm not advocating or reviewing a specific piece of gear today, I'm just doing an overview. If you have a desire for me to do a, a real dedicated review of any of these pieces of equipment, then just drop a line on the comments below and I'll be happy to do that. First up is a Rothko plate carrier. Now what this is designed to do is be an item that you can both molly in the equipment that you need as well as you can uh, carry plates with it. Uh, the ceramic plates, steel plates, whatever it might be. Um, the beauty of this piece of equipment is that it's fairly inexpensive. You can get these for 60 or 70 bucks. But the problem is you're getting about 60 or 70 bucks worth of equipment. What I mean by that is I wore this on one class. Actually, I wore it on our tactical survival class this past year. And when I did, uh, what I have found with these types of equipment is that they are incredibly hot. So again, kudos to our warfighters who are actually wearing this type of gear on a regular basis. Here's what I like about it. Uh, it's got a lot of molly on it, but what I found is I started mollying in uh, different pieces of equipment for me to utilize. A lot of the stitching is sewed all the way through, so I had to cut some of the stitching away. It's got a keeper pocket for like map and compass that's right here. Uh, this does not have with it built into it when you buy it. It does not have any type of mag cases, so you have to buy some sort of additional plate uh, sandwich or anything of that nature to hold your magazines. It's got two pockets on the inside of here that I had some survival stuff that I don't have to access unless I'm in a survival situation. Uh, I found that it carried stuff well. The padding is good on the shoulder. I was able to put in my tourniquet on my shoulder, wore it well, didn't get in the way. Um, it's incredibly comfortable when you first put it on. It's just, again, in hot weather, this was extremely, extremely hot. All right, so the next one I want to show you is a chest rig from Tactical Taylor. Uh, this is USA made in Washington State. Um, the, this particular rig is designed to both be something that you can carry magazines in. Uh, what it says is you can carry AK and AR magazines in it. What I have found that AK magazines don't ride very well at all in this particular magazine or, or this particular chest rig. It does have Velcro enclosure for a couple of pistol mags too which was fairly nice. Again if you're going to be running a rifle you're probably going to be primarily shooting it and the magazines for your pistol should be there as a backup. But um, uh, it, again, it's designed to hold two mags so that you got two, four, six, eight mags that you could carry in this. What I have found in utilizing this particular chest rig is that for me to open that up, get the magazine out, put it in my rifle, and then do what I need to do. Um, this, this system right here is pretty cumbersome, and it seems like it shouldn't be extremely cumbersome, but uh, for some reason, these are huge. These are very long, and they tend to get in the way. I've got another one that's got a Velcro covering on it that 
is not like that at all. So I'm gonna make sure I point it out too. Uh, but again, this is a, um, a good general duty chest rig. Uh, if you carry a lot of weight in it, it doesn't have any padding on the straps. And so I found that to be fairly uncomfortable. If you're in a class uh, and you're shooting and then you can take it off at lunch and stuff of that nature, it's one thing. But if you're wearing this all day long, then it gets really heavy on your shoulders. And so uh, keep that in mind as well. Next one up is the Special Operations Equipment uh, SOE gear out of Tennessee. This is their micro rig. Uh, I wore this for one class in which I was training with some law enforcement officers. Um, fantastic class. Uh, one of the beauties of what I get to do is I get to trade tracking oftentimes for tactical training. Uh, survival training for tactical training. So that's really cool. Uh, the intention here is that you've got uh, not a complete, hey, I'm going to go out and be on a mission specific type of rig here. You can carry two mags. Again, uh, I found that the AR magazines ride in here much better than the AK magazines. Uh, but this is what I was talking about. You'll notice that these are not nearly as long, and particularly once you get the mags in there, and I don't have a mag right here handy. I've got them in my go bag right now. But but um, you, uh, you flip these and everything's out of the way. It just doesn't seem like these are in the way at all. It, it works exceptionally well. Uh, you have basically like an admin pouch right here where you can put your Israeli bandage, tourniquet, uh, chest decompany uh, needle, chest seal. It also has in it a map pocket or compass or other small items that you want to put in there. Uh, again, this doesn't have any padding. I don't know that this is designed to be a long-term mission specific type of rig. Uh, it worked exceptionally well in a class. There's, no, there's hardly any movement at all when you get this on and I can breathe, I can function properly, I can do everything. All the weapons manipulations that I need to do really well and this doesn't get in the way. This is probably one of my most favorite rigs that I have. Uh, it works exceptionally well. So this is a rig that I got in a trade with a friend of mine. Um, it is made in the USA, atstacticalgear.com. Um, and again, I'm sorry if those are hitting you on the microphone too much. Again, this particular setup has that same pocket that virtually all of them have. I've been looking for that. I wonder where that was. But you have to buy these pancakes. I don't know exactly what these are called, but you got to buy these mag carriers that you then molly in there so that you can be more unit or mission specific. And so that's something you want to consider when you get a rig like this, um, like the Rothko Cheapo that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I have not utilized this. My son-in-law wore this in a class with this pancake on it. Uh, again, it, it worked really well. It hung really well. It stays strong. Um, no problems whatsoever with this little guy. Um, I don't find this one very comfortable. Again, as you've noticed, I'm kind of a larger guy. Um, I don't feel real comfortable in this one. It just doesn't seem to fit me right. It pinches my shoulders, and I've adjusted it and changed it a bunch, and I just can't seem the right fit for this one. So with that said, I use either my micro rig from SOE Gear or another one I'm going to show you. All right, so the last one I want to show you is one that we've utilized in several classes. As a matter of fact, my son kind of fell in love with this one and he's been using it. But this is a 511. Um, what this one has is it, it has several things. But it's got pouches for magazines. You can carry one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, ten mags in here. As well as you've got the Velcro enclosures and it also comes with the bungee enclosures as well. And it's got Molly on the front. It's got a mesh pocket in the back for map. Now here's what I found about the mesh, is that if I had a map in here and I didn't have it in a map case, um, sweat's gonna cover that up and it ain't gonna, it's not gonna last very long at all. So if you're gonna have that something in there, you wanna have it in a covering. Uh, so like most of the time when I'm utilizing these things, again, I'm no tactical operator, you all. I'm just an average ordinary American that wants to be able to keep his family safe. And to do so, I think part of that is to learn how to use the weapons that I own properly. So 
Um, with that said, um, utilizing a class where I'm keeping notes, because I always take notes when I'm out of class. It's just imperative. And those little pockets that are quote unquote map pockets is where I often keep my, my, my notes. And if I don't have it in a case or something of that nature in a class, it ends up getting real sweaty and, and not very useful. So again, uh, this has got padding on the shoulders. Uh, I've utilized this in a class before too. I found it to be extremely comfortable. My son is kind of overtaking this one. He really likes it. Um, it's not got uh, the quick release buckles like a lot of them. So in my opinion, for a true tactical situation, that's imperative. You gotta have quick release. But uh, as far as the pricing is concerned, I'll have the uh, links to where you can get all these and so that if you see something that you like, you can look them up on their website and get the exact pricing. Um, but this, the, these are all good uh, rigs for somebody like me. Again, I don't want to pretend that I'm some tactical guru. So those are some options for you. Again, if you like one of these and you want a specific close-up review of it, I'll be happy to do that. I'm going to do everything I can to do overviews of products like this and then if there's specific products then I'll, I'll do what I can to find them and probably give one away. So uh, keep that in mind. If you like what you're seeing, then give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Recommend that other people subscribe to our channel because we really appreciate it. We can't do what we're doing without you subscribers, so we really appreciate it. So with that said, come on, join in. Let's learn together.